Hello and welcome to another episode of Autogefühl. This week, we're here in Paris to attend the Paris Motor Show, one of the biggest auto shows in the entire world. There's a bunch of new things to check out in this event, like for example this. This is the Seat Ateca Experience. Now, Seat has been having tremendous success with its all-new Ateca, and to build on this success, they have uh, released this special edition uh, Ateca Experience. Now, this is not production ready, but as you can see, this is based on the standard Ateca. But what's different is, for example, the suspension is firmer, the ground clearance is raised, uh, the car comes with off-road tires as well as an exclusive wheel uh, design. Over here in the front, we can see that the car has a different front bumper and uh, this extends to the side skirts as well as the rear bumper. Now this color scheme is also very unique to this Ateca Experience model. And furthermore, this is completely scratch, uh, sorry, scratch resistant. So they're trying to improve the off-road ability of the standard Ateca. Uh, this car has a two liter diesel engine uh, mated to a seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission. Uh, the four wheel drive is the Haldex four wheel drive system and the traction control. Now let's go look inside. On the inside, well, although it's very similar to the standard Ateca, the interior seats colors are also matching the exterior paint color, and we have special orange stitching, which matches the color of the mirrors on the outside. Let's take a look in the back seat as well. Now, this car is not completely production ready, but we have a good feeling that this could make it to production and we can see it sometime soon. So I'm here with Mr. Sven Schavo from the uh, SEAT Whole Vehicle Development Division. Thank you so much for being with us. So why did you deem it necessary to improve on the uh, 4x4 version of the standard attacker? Yeah, thank you for coming uh, to SEAT. Um, let's say uh, when we initially uh, started the um, press uh, presentation with the new attacker, uh, we concentrated on the urban part uh, of uh, the Ateca because that we, we know that most of the customers uh, clearly will use this car in urban uh, conditions. But it's an SUV and an SUV clearly has an off-road aspect as well. And uh, in this presentation we would like to focus more on this and that is the reason why we presented this car as you can see here uh, on my right side. Uh, so this is uh, with uh, let's say a little more uh, off-road uh, um, applications. Uh, bigger wheels, um, uh, uh, olive matte color, uh, some additional parts on the front and on the rear, and, and all this to express a little bit more the off-road character of this car. And um, uh, I can say that the, uh, the Ateca, not only this Ateca, but only the, the, the normal one as well, is uh, quite well under off-road conditions, and uh, this is a basic message of this. And we are waiting for feedback uh, from our customers uh, to see, um, yeah, I want to see response yeah, to this car. Uh, to decide whether we bring it in this um, um, uh, this combination to the market or not. Okay, so I take it that this is not production ready yet. Mm -hmm. So if it does come into production and you get good feedback from your customers, when do you plan to start rolling these out to the dealerships? Yeah, if, if we decide to do this, um, uh, I think we need um, half a year to, to, to bring it to the market. Um, 
Uh, one one uh, important uh, information is that um, some of these parts that you see that we added to this car are already available uh, via accessories. So we have a, a variety of uh, additional parts available for the Ateca and some of these uh, um, are today available uh, that's in the market. So uh, our customers are in fact able uh, to, to build up, let's say, a car that is uh, quite similar to this one here. Uh, and the other things that we introduced here in this car that we have to decide and then, then yeah, maybe half a year. But depends on the, on the uh, feedback on the fair. Well, thank you so much for being with us and all the best. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Now, for more on this car, here's Thomas with an exclusive interview. And now Thomas is joined by Luca De Meo, Seat CEO, and a very exclusive interview just for you. And we want to know, first of all, in general, the Seat Ateca. How has it changed the brand and the sales success? Well, I think it's uh, it's early to say, but uh, certainly this uh, product is bringing the whole brand in a new territory. Uh, it's actually attracting new customers for the brand. I think for uh, any volume brand in Europe to be successful in the SUV is uh, uh, now essential. It's the, a kind of a new interpretation of uh, sportiness and uh, uh, Seat was all, has always been asso associated to the idea of being a sporty brand, dynamic and emotional. So I think it's a perfect car for us and also for the customer. That's why they are floating in you know, thousands to buy the product. I've heard that um, you now have even some more elderly customers. So, so far with the Ibiza for example, they own more younger customers. But a lot of people buying the Ateca full spec, you know, also for reasonable prices, you know, and does it still fit to the brand then? No, I think we're keeping, we, we, we keep being one of the youngest uh, brands uh, in Europe and we are very proud of it. And uh, I think it's a tradition that we want to continue. This uh, car normally are, at least at the beginning, attracting a certain kind of consumer. I think we're going to continue to position the car on the, on, on the youth side because that's, that was what is coming to us more natural, let's say. And now we see the car right here, the Ateca Experience. And we've already tested the Leon Experience. I think it was about one and a half year ago. And why did you come up with a special model here also for the Ateca? What's the reason behind it? But obviously, as you're saying, the people are buying a pretty high spec product. So I think we should work uh, to continue to kind of serve that demand. And so we will do other exercises like this. And we actually wanted to come to Paris also to get a feeling where a, such a product like this would appeal to the consumer, to the media. And uh, when, when we have uh, you know, concluded and make a summary of the things, we will decide whether it makes sense to do this uh, yes or no. But I have a good feeling about it. So it's not 100% fixed that it will come as this way, but you probably will do it. Yeah, I think uh, it's one of the ideas that we have to keep, uh, let's say, the emotion and the excitement uh, around the product and to serve the demand of people that are now buying in large majority product, uh, very high spec, yeah, big engines, uh, full spec, big wheels, uh, you know, cool colors, and which is, I think is good. It's uh, always a good sign. What other main features here on the experience that uh, you like best? I, I think the design makes a lot of it. So I think uh, I think uh, we have you know bigger wheels. Uh, the design is uh, as more character. You have a lot of SUV parts. We change also the interior. We have 190 uh, horsepower diesel on, on 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 that product. It's all obviously the full uh, spec is on on that product because it will be a, some high end, uh, let's say, specification of the product. And I can also give you some feedback from our viewers because um, a lot of people told us, oh, I've bought a Seat Ateca or I want to buy it. Um, but in my market, I can only get the combination this with this and this, you know, about DSG or not, yeah. all-wheel drive or not, small diesel, big diesel. So people like to have a little bit more engine choices. I, I can give you that from, from our viewers as feedback. Um, and looking to the future, will you maybe improve that point that you can get more combinations for each market? But maybe, you know, the, 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 the combination of engine, uh, gearboxes, uh, model, uh, uh, version, etc., at the beginning is always uh, a little bit limited. And then slowly, slowly, you, you get that uh, each one of the production. So the, the reaction might also, uh, let's say, depending on, on the fact that the, the physical availability of the product is not there. So we tend not to open it in the car configurator, etc. So I think if the car is successful, we can, you know, uh, look at some variation in the thing. Sometimes I have the feeling on some product we are even too complex. There are so many variations that, uh, you know, 
that is difficult to you know it's difficult also for the consumer to choose. But in some some more passionate people that really want a unique thing, they are looking on every details, and we are happy to serve them. Okay, and so we might see more engine combinations very soon, and also the experience. And in general, as a last question. Where is the brand heading to? What's to come there? Maybe, uh, of course, you cannot tell us any, everything, but maybe something. What's the brand heading to? Look, for, 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 for your public, I think it's important to understand that after many, many years, uh, SEAT is uh, becoming a, you know, a solid company from a financial point of view. So we have the resources to invest into the future. We will, uh, let's say, experience uh, in the next 18 months after the Ateca, I think the biggest product offensive of the history of the brand. There will be three new products coming uh, in the next uh, 12 months. So I see two, three years of, uh, let's say, the brand developing in the right direction. And when you have that kind of feeling internally, when you work in an organization, in a sport team, like that you, you're starting to win, then you, you, you come into the field with a completely different attitude. And what we want to take, we want to take advantage of this time, of these years, to really think at uh, SEAT that is still a young brand, that is still a dynamic brand, is an emotional brand from the south, etc. But uh, all the discontinuity that are happening in the automotive industry give uh, to a brand like us some kind of challenge and brand opportunity to position itself as a front runner, maybe on one of the fields. I am a personal believer that uh, the whole story of the connected car is very relevant. So the idea of uh, putting uh, our product into the center of a digital world will make the experience completely different for consumer. And as we have younger consumer, they will probably be some of the first adopter. And so that's one of the fields we are exploring, we're organizing ourselves, we are investing in, we are developing. So maybe we keep in touch and we'll see each other next time and maybe I have more concrete story to tell you. We will definitely. Thank you very much. Mille grazie. Prego. <laughs> So we spent a great deal of time here at the SEAT stall today at the Paris Motor Show. And I th personally really like this car. I think it has you know, a lot more to offer than the standard Ateca version for people who really want a more off-road capable car. And we're really interested to see what you guys think about it, our viewers. So please do comment in this, uh, please do write your comments in the comment section below and tell us, do you think this car should come into the market? And why do you think it's a good idea or why do you think it's a bad idea? We want to hear from you.